Questions from car salesmen that should make you want to leave the dealership. These are common questions from car salesmen, but when asked first or early in the game, should always be red flags. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homer Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. If you like the Homer Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below. If you want one of our cool shirts, hoodies, or a vest like this one. The kinds of questions asked by a car salesman tell you a lot about the dealership. The bad dealers all have something in common. Your visit to the dealership is about them, not about you. They ask you questions that they want answers to before they even know what you want because they're determining what path they want to shove you down. If they don't like your answers to the questions, you could find yourself getting tossed to the curb. The knuckleheads in the business ask these kinds of questions via email, text, messenger, on a phone call, or if you visit in person. It's like they're clueless that they are so transparently selfish. We'll hit these questions right after this short message from the Homework Guide team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guide channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is, there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. Any good salesman knows that they have to ask questions. By asking the right kinds of questions, good salesmen are trying to get the necessary information to best help you. But bad salesmen will ask all kinds of questions way too early in the sales process because they are focused on their wants, not your needs. And it starts to sound a little bit like a marriage proposal on a first date. Here are the questions that when asked too early should immediately raise a red flag. And when I say too early, they'll come well before the salesman even knows what you want in your next vehicle. Are we your first stop? Are you looking to buy a car today? What's your timeline? Notice that none of these questions has anything to do with the vehicle choice. It's all about trying to determine how fast you want to buy. Bad salesmen think that helping people through a discovery process, like the homework guy style, is a waste of their time. Then come this question. Have you worked with anyone here before? This is just to figure out which salesman gets credit for you. Even if the previous salesman did such an unmemorable job, you don't even remember his or her name. Figure that one out. The last person was so lousy, you don't even know who it is. Yet, they'll get a split deal if you buy from another salesman. When I worked sales on a car lot, my contacts came back and asked for me by name. If I wasn't there that day, they often refused the offer to work with someone else. They called or texted me and came back on another day. That's what loyal customers do when they receive service worth remembering. In my opinion, if a customer isn't asking for a salesman by name, the previous person didn't earn their business, period. Here's another batch of brazen questions asked too early. Any reason you wouldn't want to make a deal today? More pushing. Are you paying cash or do you plan to finance? That question is like the marriage proposal on the first date. And then, did you finance your last car? If you say yes, this question comes next. What's your monthly payment and how much do you owe on it? This annoying pressure is designed to set you up for payment proposals. It doesn't stop there. Do you have good credit or any credit concerns? If you mention anything about credit, do you have a cosigner? How much money do you want to put down? They are softening you up, searching for angles for the finance man. How much do you think your current car is worth? Don't answer that. Are there any security systems on your car? They want to sell you garbage window etch theft protection. Do you worry about breaking down on the roadside? That's an extended warranty question. Then, assuming the sale well before it's been earned with this question. Where you're going on your first trip with your new car? Yeah, that sounds really stupid, doesn't it? Here's more setup for finance, pay plans, the works with these questions. Do you have any big promotions coming up at work? Do you have a favorite banker or any lending relationships? What monthly payment are you looking for? If you ever get asked this question, the finance officer is somebody you need to run from. If we could put your first payment out to 45 or 90 days, how much more cash can you come up with? Yeah, you need to get out of the dealership right now. All of these questions, 
and you don't even have a car picked out yet? Give me a break. Then come the brazen pry into personal life as if you're friends now without having earned any of your business. Do you have kids? How old are your kids? What are their names? I'm not kidding. If you haven't noticed, all these questions have something in common. They all have a specific purpose. And none of these questions has anything to do with your car needs. These questions are entirely focused on turning their visit into their big, fat, juicy car deal. Let me be more clear. A big, fat, juicy, high profit car deal. If you make the mistake of buying from a salesman like this, try coming back a few days later. You'll be surprised. You'll notice they hardly know who you are. You'll feel like the idiot who rode home drunk with a stranger from the bar, never knowing anything about the other person, waking up with a ton of regret. The salesmen who behave like this aren't worried about retaining you as a customer. It's like the old one and done. From the very start, it was all about what they wanted, not what you needed. If you've been a regular follower of the Homer Guy channel, I sincerely hope that you are that customer who gets up and leaves and you should because you're helping change the car business. Now for a little comparison, here are a few good questions that good car salesmen ask, questions that actually do have to do with understanding your vehicle needs, and these are asked up front. What brings you in today? This is just a general icebreaker, but watch a good salesman shut up and listen to what you have to say. Have you had a chance to do some of your own research? Oh, that's a great question. Unafraid of the informed buyer. This is a question honest people ask. Were you considering a car, truck, van, or SUV? Good stuff. Identify a preferred vehicle type. Does new or a good used vehicle make the most sense for you? Might as well know which side of the building you'll be looking for a car on, right? Is the vehicle just for you? Or do you plan to carry passengers or stuff with you? Nice needs-based question. Will you need to tow anything with your vehicle? Another good one. Are there any special options or features that we should be aware of that you need in your next vehicle? Now we're talking. How many miles do you typically drive in a year? Are you the primary driver? It all makes sense. Maybe somebody else needs to go through this same stuff too who isn't here today. These are questions that help the salesman make vehicle recommendations if you haven't already decided what you want. As your vehicle choices narrow, you'll hear questions like, are you replacing a vehicle? If so, do you plan to trade or sell your vehicle private party? If you are trading in your car, have you had it independently appraised? Have you talked to your bank or credit union about financing? These are dynamite questions and are only asked by the most honest and transparent sales staff in the business. This type of salesman is indeed looking out for you. This is somebody who gets it who hopes to take good enough care of you that you'll consider coming back three to five years from now and giving them your business again in the future. Now, if you've already forgotten the bad questions, the questions that sound like a marriage proposal on a first date, questions you shouldn't be hearing the moment you meet, well, back up and watch this video again. If you've made a trip to the car dealership and heard questions like these asked, let us know in the comments section below and let us know what you did about them. We covered these questions today to help you develop that sensitive BS meter and a faster trigger when you find yourself in a buyer beware environment at a bad dealer. Get out as soon as possible. As our return viewers know, there are tons of videos here on the Homework Guide channel that you can learn from. Some of you post questions in the comment section that we addressed on videos quite some time ago on the channel. No problem about that, but just make sure you check out all of our great videos. We've gone to a lot of work to help you out Use the resources we put out there for you. All right, if you learned something today and appreciate the video, consider giving us that big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and share this video on social media with your friends and family and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks with the tip, the PayPal and Cash App links you see here will be easy to find in the description box below. But if you can't do a tip, no problem. You can say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends and by encouraging others to subscribe to the channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the channel. And we appreciate everything you do to help us get the word out and defeat the bad guys still hanging on in the car business who haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock.
I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>